Hi everyone. Thank you for finding this video and I want to thank you for joining me. I have a really great, another message from God for you. Another great message. Um, as you can tell by the title and uh, if you scouted out this video, God has given me a series of messages about the three days of darkness. Despite the comments that I get that people say, no, this isn't from God. Yes, it is from God. I prayed on it for a whole month. <laughs> I got this message. Um, the, the first one that, the first message I got about the three days of darkness was on um, January 4th. And then um, he came in the night of January 10th, all throughout the night, um, well, wee hours in the morning, if you want to call it that. About every hour, he kept waking me up with another message. and. Um, uh, he gives me lots of other messages if you want to look at my channel and uh, you'll see a lot of other uh, word that, and messages that God has given me. Uh, but uh, there was quite a few about the, the three days of darkness and I prayed about it quite a bit and um, for the whole last month. And um, so I'm bringing those messages to you. I believe that uh, God did want me to release them now. It's been very heavy on my heart to, to release the messages. And... Um, I want to say to all the, uh, you know, I've had people uh, comment that they have been a Christian for a long time and this is not God's word. Um, classifying yourself as a, um, a religious organization um, or a religious background, um, calling yourself a Christian does not warrant anything. Um, there are, um, you know, a uh, lot there actually I looked it up there's 40,000 different Christian denominations Jehovah Witness uh, Catholic Protestant um, Mormons and Mennonites and the and there are uh, so many new Christian organizations that are popping up and claiming themselves as Christian so for you to say to me I'm a Christian and this isn't right um, that tells me nothing because you are one of 40,000 different Christian denominations and it doesn't matter what denomination you're going to call yourself. Are you a follower of Christ? Um, does God give you his word? Um, are you obeying God's commands? Are you obeying the calling God has on your life? Are you showing love by giving negative messages? You're already not walking in the fruits of the spirit. And those were the personality traits of Jesus. So I have no respect for somebody who comes on here and tries to, you know, degrade myself. And we are seeing it with many, many other people that have, uh, who are obeying God and putting the messages out from God, whatever the messages are. It doesn't matter what the message I give. It could be, you know, Jesus wants us to love each other and people give you the thumbs down and they'll, you know, comment some, some raunchy things. So, um, just so you know me, I take it as a great opportunity. I welcome those negative comments because it gives me an opportunity to minister to you so that we can have a debate and it opens the doors of opportunity for me to help you through God's word. I know you look at it the other way around that you think you're helping me, but you're not helping me by putting down God's word and God's message. Can we just put that out there and say that? So I welcome a great challenge. I'm a great debater and I look forward to it. And um, God has appointed me this position because he knows I can stick up for his word. I will not be, um, you know, discouraged by any naysayers and um, whatever you want to call yourself. I know I am a child of God. I don't call myself any denomination. I have a relationship with my father, not a religion uh, with the people on planet Earth. I have a relationship with my father. And my father has given me some important messages for his other children and he wants them to hear this message. So if you don't want to hear it, you can click off right now. But if you would like to um, listen to the message and comment, I am up for your debate. And believe me, I'm a good debater. So um, I welcome the challenge. And um, having said that too, I want people to know that um, I am actually a business owner and um, I am putting myself out there to do this. And I have lost business because I am being obedient to God and I am dying of the flesh every day. I give up my earthly treasures and uh, finances for my Lord. And if I lose finances over it, so be it. I am being obedient to my Lord, to my Father God, and he knows it. And, um, you know, I've had people, you know, when they go to uh, in, engage in my business, that's what we do. We look people up and they say, hey, uh, you have these videos, you're a Christian. Well, I'm an atheist and I don't do business with Christians. 
That's fine by me. That's fine because God will send me Christians to do business with. So by putting myself out there, people can look me up and they may not, when people aren't of, of uh, you know, they're not followers of Jesus, they may not want to do business with me. Um, they could be Muslim, they could be this or that. And that doesn't matter to me because I'm welcome. I open myself to people of all faiths. I, um, I don't, um, you know, I'm not prejudiced against anybody, but if they want to be prejudiced against me, that's okay. So um, people have, you know, they, they think if you're doing these videos, it's not monetized. I'm not making my money from here. I'm strictly giving God's messages. And, and I have lost in the earthly, um, you know, uh, you know, finances by doing these videos, but I'm being obedient to God. And, and so I hope that clears it up for some people who have been asking questions. And having um, said all that, I just want to say a prayer for all the, um, the unsaved and unbelievers and people who call themselves Christians, Christians, but they don't know God's word. Um, and they don't know what's happening in the world and they can't believe that there ever would be a dark period of time when the sun is going to be covered. I don't want you to have the spirit of fear. I don't, I don't want anybody to have the, the spirit of fear. God wants us to have a sound mind and this, and he wants us to have love and he wants us to have faith in him. So I pray for everybody not to have a spirit of fear um, or anger or dis disagreements or anything like this because I am not trying to cause disagreements among, um, we are all God's people. We are not all God's children, but we are all God's people. So I am here uh, to deliver the message and I pray that it will fall on um, um, you know, good soil and that you will open your eyes and your minds and your hearts to hear it because I believe it is coming soon. And God keeps giving lots of people this message because it is coming soon. And I pray that you will be prepared in Jesus' mighty, precious, holy name, I pray. Okay, so if anybody's still watching after um, going over all of those things, uh, I appreciate that. And I've got a really great message from God here. And here we go. So as I was saying, um, the first message of, to do with this Three Days of Darkness came on January 4th, 2023, and I labeled it uh, first message uh, now that I've gotten more. So that one's the first one. Then I just put out a second one, and now this one is the third, and I've got a fourth and a fifth. And if he gives me more, I will uh, be making more. But that's all he gave me. So January 10th, 2023, at um, 2.25 a.m., this is the third message, God says, Crystal clear, you have ears to hear. Now listen up, my children. The war is about to happen. Do not get caught in the crossfire. Spiritual warfare will be upon you. Three days and nights of darkness will soon be upon you and make no mistake, it is coming. Wake up, my children. Don't delay. Prepare yourselves for this grotesque covering of the sun. The world as you know it will come to a halt. For three days and nights, there will be terror and horror in the streets, the unleashing of the wicked ones. You must remain inside, completely block out your windows, leave no sliver of an opening for the enemy to look in, for the night will be dark and your light inside will shine very brightly on the outside. You must block all windows and doors and do not let any of your light shine to the outside. Do not let the enemy see your light from the, in, from the outside looking in. I went to Isaiah 60, uh, verse 1 and 2. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick darkness is over the people's but the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Do not let him trick you as he will come as a thief in the night trying to steal, kill, and destroy. John 10, 10. And God is referring to the enemy. He will come knocking on your doors and, and windows with a familiar voice crying out for help. You must ignore these cries. You must know that it is the devil in disguise. Be smart. Be wise. It's time to have a mind like Christ. Strong, intelligent, confident, and wise. Fight the urge and the temptation to look outside 
or to open your door. Fall deep into prayer. Read your scriptures. Concentrate on me, says the Lord. Put your faith and your trust in me. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Let your eyes and your ears, your minds and your hearts del delve into the scriptures. Stay close to me and all will be well. Who will survive this storm? Question mark. Will it be you, O oh, faithful child? My most faithful, trustworthy children will survive this storm. And woe to those that did not heed my word and did not prepare. Who will, who, and who did not lock their doors? You must heed my word now. And it's in capital letters. He really stressed it. And do not go outside! Exclamation point. Fight the feeling of feeling trapped in your homes. Know that I am in your home with you and I bring you love and I bring you peace and comfort. Do not concentrate on the emotions of the world, the panic, the fear and curiosity. Instead, concentrate on love and faith and trust that your Lord is carrying you through this. Cast your cares on me. And I will deliver you through this. Psalms 55, 22 says, cast your burdens on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved, God says. And he says, what can you tell me? This is interesting. He says, what can you tell me about the Nephilim? Question mark. Have you been doing your homework? Have you been studying the scriptures? It's time for the Nephilim to return. The time has come. They will invade your towns and your streets and your cities. They will stretch out far and wide. They come to harm you. They come to do no good. Step back from the doors and windows and stay and find a safe room, quiet room in your homes. You must stay there for the three days and the three nights. I give you thanks in advance, my faithful children, for the faithful ones will make it through. Do not lose sight of me. Do not lose sight of your faith in me. I walk through whew, this darkness with you. You are not alone. Take heed as the time is quickly approaching. Prepare your hearts and your minds and your families Stay well, my children. That's the end of the message. And I got a couple more. I'm going to just do back to back doing the videos. Thank you for listening. Take heed. There's, uh, you know, some really important stuff in this message. Take it to the Lord. Um, uh, study the scripture. If you're not sure what any of this means, or if you're not sure that what this whole message is, if you're not sure that I, I am hearing from the Lord, I'm doing my part now, Lord the God, Lord God needs you to do your part. If you are not sure, definitely um, go and study the scriptures and um, do your part, do your due diligence. Don't just think you know everything and follow your earthly mind and your earthly desires and your earthly thoughts. Um, take it to the Lord, pray upon it, and um, you know, again, I do welcome your comments if you just want to throw them out, but I will challenge you. I will debate you. And um, I am very strong in my faith. And I, I walk um, in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. I am a child of God. I will not back down from the Lord. I will not back down for a message. And I will not back down to any naysayers or unbelievers or, uh, you know, lukewarm Christians or just narcissists who think they know it all. I encourage you to leave me a comment and I have the Lord on my side and he helps me to answer you back. I will give you scripture back in return and I will pray to the Lord as to what to what to say to you and how to help you to get through this time because we are not trying to instill fear but only a warning from our Father God. And I pray that everyone who received this message, who listened to this message, um, that you will receive it well. We are not to fear, but, but to be prepared. 
and um, to draw close to our Lord now. We don't know when this is going to happen, um, but when it does, you will remember this message and um, hopefully you will remember that what was said in this message, especially for the naysayers and um, the ignorant ones who are not knowledgeable of God's word. So um, I will leave you with that tonight, friends, and um, I pray that you will be protected and put on God's armor. And um, whenever this does happen, that we will be prepared and we will um, remember that the Lord is with us in um, spirit and mentally and physically and emotionally. He will be there for us in Jesus' mighty, precious, holy name. Thank you for listening. Um, I will see you soon on another video. Bye for now.